Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. In this tutorial, we're going to explore how to find the powers of complex numbers. So if I define a complex number as z equals, let's say, 3 plus 2i, I want to be able to find z to the power of 5, okay? in terms of a plus bi and I want to know what a is and what b is so unfortunately with what we know right now about expanding terms we would have to put 3 plus 2i to the power of 5 and then you're going to have to write out 5 brackets and then you're going to expand it out okay I'm just gonna write really quickly so you don't get bored expand it all out and draw all these arrows and it's just gonna take too long okay so before we do that I'm just gonna put a pause on this we'll get back to this okay what I want to do is explore how we usually expand two terms Okay, let's start with a plus b to the power of 2. Okay, if we expand that using the normal expansion, okay, you are going to get, you're going to get, sorry about my clock in the background, you're going to get a squared plus a B plus B A plus B squared so you'll get A squared plus 2 A B plus B squared okay so let's know let's write down the coefficient here and the coefficient here in front of A squared is 1 the coefficient in front of B squared is 1 and the coefficient in front of A B is 2 Okay, now I'm going to show you what happens when you go a plus b to the power of 3. Okay, so uh, I'll just do it all first um, so that it's a bit quicker. So actually I've decided I'll just show you slowly. Okay, so I have a plus b, a plus b, a plus b. Now we already know that a plus b times a plus b is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared okay so then I'm gonna multiply that by a plus b so then I will get a cubed plus 2a squared b plus a b squared plus so what I have done is I've multiplied each term in the first bracket by the first term to get all of this and now I'm going to multiply each term by the second term in the second bracket and if I write all of that out I will get plus a squared b plus 2ab squared plus b cubed and then if I simplify this what I'm gonna get is a cubed plus and you will see that I have 2a b 2a squared b and a squared b so that turns into 3a squared b and then I have a b squared plus 2a b squared so that gives me 3a b squared and that and then lastly I have b cubed okay so let's take a note at the coefficients I have 1 3 3 1 as the coefficients of um, each term now if we have a look at the coefficient I have 1 2 1 and then here I have 1 3 3 1 this pattern is exactly the same as Pascal's triangle okay so if you haven't seen this triangle before basically we start off 
with one on the top and then I will just show you how to make it up and you'll see the pattern really quickly basically to make up the triangle each term comes from the sum of the two terms above it so 2 comes from 1 plus 1 okay so you're gonna write 1 1 plus 2 is 3 2 plus 1 is 3 and then 1 again in the um, last final position so you keep writing this okay so you can see here that I have 1 2 1 over here with the a plus b squared and so a plus b squared gives me 1 a squared plus 2 a b plus 1 b squared and that coefficient that order of coefficient matches this so I'm just gonna keep a mental note here so this third row is a plus b squared and then the next row is a plus b cubed so that must mean that the next row is going to be a plus b to the power of 4 so if we want to know a plus b to the power of 5 okay we can just keep going for another row so I have 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 1 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1 okay so that is the um, coefficient when I expand a plus b to the power of 5 so in fact I'm gonna write this out so a plus b to the power of 5 is gonna give me 1a to the power of 5 plus 5 a to the power of 4 b to the power of 1 right because we can see the pattern here what happened was if I raise this uh, binomial to the power of 3 what I would get is a to the power of 3 first and then a to the power of 2 in the second term a to the power of 1 in the third term and a to the power of 0 in the last term so basically I will start with the highest power that matches the power that I'm raising it to and then I will gradually decrease that power by 1 as we proceed to the next term and then um, contrary to that the second term B I will start with B to the power of 0 in the first term and then B to the power of 1 in the second term B to the power of 2 in the third term and b to the power of 3 in the last term so that's what I'm gonna do here in fact I will write out the coefficients first so it's 1 plus 5 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1 okay now let's fill out the pro numerals so I have a to the power of 5, a to the power of 4, a to the power of 3, a to the power of 2, a to the power of 1 and a to the power of 0 and then for the b's I'm gonna have b to the power of 1, b to the power of 2, b to the power of 3, b to the power of 4 and b to the power of 5 okay so now that I have filled out all of this I know how to expand it so now I can just do the same thing with the complex number so what complex number did we have we have 3 plus 2 I to the power of 5 so let's do 3 plus 2 I to the power of 5 and then it's gonna be 1 times 3 to the power of 5 because a is 3 okay so I have 5 times 3 to the power of 4 times um, 2i plus 10 times 3 to the power of 3 times 2i to the power of 2 
so this is going to be a pretty long process unfortunately so plus 10 times 3 to the power of 2 times 2i to the power of 3 plus 5 times 3 times 2i to the power of 4 plus 2i to the power of 5 okay so now it's just a lot of algebra work basically you have to expand out all of the brackets and you have to um, simplify them so let's do that so 3 to the power of 5 is 243 and 3 to the power of 4 is 81 so that's 5 times 81 times 2i plus 10 times uh, 27 plus 4i squared right because 2i times 2i is 4i squared plus 10 times 9 times 8i cubed because 2 to 2 to the power of 3 is 8 i to the power of 3 is i cubed plus 5 times 3 times 16 i to the power of 4 plus uh, 2 to the power of 5 is 32 so it's 32 i to the power of 5 okay I know you're thinking this is gonna take a very long time but uh, unfortunately that's how it goes so let's type a lot of this stuff in the calculator to make it a bit easier. So here we have 5 times 81 times 2, which is 810, plus 10 times 27 times 4 is 1080 i squared now I'm just gonna leave the i squared there and I'll come back to simplify it so I have 10 times 9 times 8 720 i cubed and then I have 5 times 3 times 16 and that is 240 i to the power of 4 and I have 32 i to the power of 5 okay now just before I proceed I'm going to simplify the i's first so i squared is um, negative 1 we know that okay i squared is negative 1 and then i cubed is equal to i squared times i so it's negative 1 times i so it's negative i okay and then i to the power of 4 is equal to i squared to the power of 2 so it's negative 1 to the power of 2 which is 1 okay and then i to the power of 5 is um, what's that i4 times i so that's 1 times i so we get back to i again so using that information I'm gonna cross out these terms and change them to what they are so i squared is times negative 1 i cubed is negative i and then i4 is 1 and then i5 is i okay so now I'm gonna um, get rid of all this stuff actually I'm gonna paste it on the right hand side so you can see it later okay so now what I'm gonna do is simplify all this 
Okay, so it's two four three plus eight hundred and ten I minus thousand eighty uh minus seven twenty I plus two hundred and forty plus thirty two I Okay, now let's get all the real parts together. So the real part is 243 minus 1010 plus 240. So let's type that into the calculator. And I got negative 597. Now let's type the imaginary parts into the calculator. So I have 810 minus... 720 plus 32 and I got 122 I okay so if I type this into GeoGebra okay if I type in 3 plus 2 I in brackets to the power of 5 this should be the answer that it gives me so let's check that out and if GeoGebra doesn't give me that, then I have done something wrong, unfortunately. So let's test it out. Okay, let's type in bracket 3 plus 2i to the power of 5. Okay, please. And what does it give me? Negative. 597 plus 122 was that the answer ne negative 597 plus 122 exactly it so I have expanded it correctly using Pascal's triangle okay thanks for watching guys see you next time